everybody. Well, today, as you can see, we are standing in my Tuscan style dining room and we are gonna be doing something a little bit different. We are going to be decorating the top of my ladder, my hanging ladder to be precise. And let me show you. You guys may remember my dilemma. Basically, the builder did not hang our chandelier centered in this entire room. He hung it way too close over here, which left that side not looking balanced. So my remedy to that was hang a rustic ladder and to that I hung a chandelier, a candle chandelier. And I've done this in many of my homes and I'm going to be decorating the top of it for fall. Think branches, think fall foliage, think dropping, dropped fall leaves. I don't know where I'm gonna go with this, but my creative ideas are flowing. So let's get started. So guys, many of you say that as I decorate, sometimes you guys are talking to me like, hey Liz, when you were decorating you know, your mantle or something, I was like, move this a little to the left or move it a little bit to the right. And they're like, just as I said that to you, you did it. So I'm gonna be channeling my with my telepathic abilities to see if if I can hear what you guys are telling me to do. Yep, that's what we're doing. So in other words, I'm gonna open up my telepathic abilities. I'm gonna channel your thoughts and I'm gonna to try to bring it to my ladder. Let's go. Now, what would a video be without me being a little silly? It'd be boring. It'd be like, yawn. We're bringing the funny and the goofy and the humorous. Let's do this. I'm gonna insert a little clip of this light switch plate we're installing up here. And because I wanna show you, I'm bringing lights. I'm gonna add lights to my ladder and I'm gonna show you how I did it. So I'm gonna zip up, zip it, and morph into that uh, video footage and then we'll get started. I'm gonna roll my sleeves up, let's go, let's do this. Tap in with this medium base porcelain lamp holder and he's going to tap in with this and you can either put a light here or another switch. So we've got actually two switches here and my idea is to add some either curly willow branches up here or some sort of branches for fall. And I wanna intertwine orange or amber colored lights into them, but I wanna be able to tap into an outlet. And I think what I'm gonna do is move a basket right here, put some foliage in it that kind of sticks up, which will cam um, camouflage that. So my, my goal is that you won't see it, but I wanna do something fun up here. I think it will be really fun for the fall, se fall season, so stay tuned. You can purchase this on Amazon and I will link it in the description box below. Anyway, like I said, it's a great alternative to be able to tap in and do something fun. You know, if you have a ladder or something like that instead. outlet is installed it's sort of an eyesore but i'm not too concerned because i'm going to conceal it somehow some way operation make ladder beautiful and to start well of course we've got the ladder i mean hello it's hanging it's ready to go but to that we are going to be adding i got these at hobby lobby how much were these of course i don't have my glasses on of course i don't oh $12.99, these were regular price. I got three, just in case. Um, I don't know what kind of branches these are. Doesn't say. Oh, 46, well, it's 46 inches. That's all I know. Anyway, I'm going to take these out of the package and we are gonna start layering because you guys know, this girl likes to layer. It's all about texture and visual interest. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm sort of up on the chair right now. 
here's my ladder, here's my candle chandelier. Up here, see right there, I'm using my branches, you'll see an outlet. That is where the chandelier was hanging and that is where I'm gonna tap in to add lights into these branches. But these are super cool because they're kind of like, they're wispy at the end. And as you can see, I've already got some, I laid one bushel up there and then this one I snipped the bottom part off so that I could spread them where I want them to go on this ladder. So let me get situated and I'll be right back. All right, I'm going up on my ladder. All right, guys, I am going to unsnip the bottom part over here on this bushel because it will give me a fuller effect, if you will. And I'm just gonna spread these. That looks good, but I'm going to get another bushel. All right, guys, now using these branches, this is what it looks like right now. And I wanted it wispy and messy, just like you would see out in nature. And I wanted it to look cool everywhere you walked around it. And now I'm going to add to this by adding some floral picks and maybe some garland. I'm gonna run down to my basement and I will be right back. By the way, I'm gonna be tapping into that outlet right up there. All right, I have three of these garlands. They're all the same color and style with beautiful fall leaves and flowers and berries. So I'm gonna to try to string these through the branches and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so up I go. And here's the garland. Right here, I want this to come around with the branches. And this is a close up of it. Now, I don't want everything to look perfect. So I want to have more foliage draped off of one side than the other. I don't want it to be completely matchy matchy where I've got florals cascading off this side of the ladder and florals cascading off the other side. So I think what I'm going to do is aim to put more foliage over there. Stay tuned. So I only have two of these branches. So I'm gonna try to separate it as best I can to make it look as full as possible. But let's do this side first. Love that. I'm gonna do the same with this side. I think I want this 
going to kind of stick up. I hope you guys can see that, but I'm loving it. Um, I now, I, what am I gonna do now? I do have some green branches I could add in if I can get these to stick up. I think I'm kind of liking it. So here's sort of a close up. I just wanted them like little sprigs of green in. Almost as, as if these are going to turn color just like those have. So this is what it looks like so far, but I'm going to keep adding different textures because I want it to look like we're eating under a fall tree, an autumn tree. Stay tuned. Okay, now I was telepathically picking up someone telling me to add Dollar Tree like feathers. I don't know what these are called, but they look like feathers. So I'm gonna add them. And like I said, I like to kind of pull them apart because it makes them a lot more full looking. Now, again, you have to play with these. Like, I want these kind of sticking up. So, I think that looks really pretty. Maybe what I'll do is just anchor all four sides. Done. All right, and now I'm picking up that somebody said, Liz, add some fall mums from the Dollar Tree. Can't beat the price. So I'm gonna strategically place those up there to add fullness and pops of color. All right, now somebody is telling me to add a little bit of bittersweet florals. So that's what I'm gonna do. And like I said, these are awesome. These are from the Dollar Tree, you spread them apart, which makes them look full. So I'm gonna pop a few of these in up top. I think that would be really pretty.
Layering is the name of the game. And there you go. So now I'm gonna run down to my storage room and I wanna see if I can get some pumpkins or acorns to put in that basket. And see how pretty that looks from a distance? I am loving it. All right, now I'm gonna add some of these. I love this color. So I think it would be a nice addition, um, kind of to break up the oranges and the, the burnt orange color. This might look kind of cool up there. So I'm gonna add a few of those. I love how they're wispy. They just like, they're so cool looking. Sorry, I don't mean to put my back to you, but I'm gonna stick one there. And then guys, I got some pumpkins. And, oh, I have another one of these. I have some of these straggly things. I don't know if I wanna put those up here or not. They're kind of cool. Look at the colors. Perfect for fall. So let me put one more of these up there. falling all over the place here. I might put these in this basket and then snug my pumpkins in there with them. Let's see. So I have this pumpkin and I might just set this up like this. And then, oh, you know what? I have one of these. By the way, guys, these are from Hobby Lobby. Put a yellow one right there. And then, you know what? I might not, I might just put one of these back behind it. Okay, one here, and then one floral pick behind it. That looks kind of cute. Love it. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I gotta get the camera and show you. Okay guys, it's evening time here on Sunday evening. So um, it's getting kind of dark in here. So I had to put the flash on my phone, but I wanted you to see these cute little pumpkins in the basket. And then I snugged one in right here. Cute. All right, guys, next step, I'm going to try to attempt, attempt to add lights from my light switch right there. We'll see how this goes down. I don't know. I've never done this before. This is new for me. Okay, guys, you might be able to see that I have a strand of lights hooked in to that outlet up there. And I am now strategically stringing them through my ladder. And I'll tell you what, you should always do it last because that way your lights will not be hidden. If I had done this first, 
chances are they would be hidden and it wouldn't be as pretty of a display. So with that said, I'm gonna get up there and string them through and then I'll show you the final look. And by the way, I'm stringing them in, out, in, out, so the center lights up as well. Okay, now I'm gonna get another strand. Actually. Now I'm going around to the other side. Okay guys, I am done and I am loving it. Check it out. Is that not pretty? Oh, it's so pretty, I'm loving it. it this, is, this looks like pumpkins are just spilling out and they've spilled out to about there, but I love it. guys look what it looks like when you're sitting underneath this ladder isn't it pretty it's like all of those autumn beautiful autumn colors and then you've got these pretty flickering candles I just love this well guys I have made a complete and utter mess of my dining room there's stuff everywhere so I cannot show you the final look. I just can't. So come back and see me Wednesday and we'll probably be decorating this whole space for fall. And the, it, everything I do in here will bring this all together. But boy, oh boy, this is so pretty. It's not doing it justice right now because this room is super, super dark. But if I get up tomorrow morning before I post this, I'll probably try to get some uh, morning shots when the color coloring and uh, everything is super good in here. So stay tuned, stay tuned. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the process. Like I said, the key is layer, layer, layer. You put in different floral picks, different textures, different elements, and it's just perfectly fine to add rustic with the florals. In fact, that's what makes it look even more beautiful. So with that said, come back and see me Wednesday unless I share tomorrow. So stay tuned in that case. Thanks for stopping by, bye guys. I'm getting tired, it's hot. Whew. This mama needs to go cool off with some iced tea. And guys, the best part, these lights are hooked up to my light switch. So watch what happens.